My name is Daniel DeCapua. I am a physician at Yale University, and today we'll be discussing headache. The primary headache disorders are made up of migraine, tension type headaches, and the trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias, also abbreviated TACs. There are several different type of TACs. The cluster headaches, hemicrania continua, paroxysmal hemicrania continua, and then rarer, short-lasting, uniform, neuralgiform headache attacks with conjunctival injection and tearing, abbreviated SUNCT, or short-lasting unilateral neuralgiform headache attacks with cranial autonomic symptoms, SUNA, long-lasting autonomic symptoms with hemicranias, LASH. Migraine follows the 5-4-3-2-1 rule. The International Headache Society features of migraine include five or more attacks, repeated episodes lasting four hours to 72 hours, three days, untreated, and any of two of the following, unilateral, throbbing, worsened by movement, and moderate to severe. Any one of the following, nausea and vomiting, photo, and or phonophobia. Tension headache features are a dull, pressure-like, not throbbing sensation, a tight band or vice-like pressure on the head. It's all over, not just in one point or side of the head. It is worse in the scalp, temples, back of the neck, and possibly even down into the shoulders. The pain may occur as an isolated event, constantly, or even daily. Triggers include alcohol use, caffeine, too much or even withdrawal of caffeine, colds, the flu, sinus infections, certain dental problems, eye strain, excessive smoking, fatigue or overexertion, and they can be triggered or get worse with stress, fatigue, noise, or glare. The trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias are characterized by unilateral pain on one side of the head in the trigeminal nerve distribution with ipsilateral autonomic symptoms. Autonomic symptoms can include tearing, conjunctival injection, ptosis, these are differentiated by duration and frequency of the headaches. Treatment of the primary headache disorders are really tailored to each patient. There are acute treatments which focus on pain relief and alleviation of the associated symptoms. There are also prophylactic treatments. These are meant to be taken often on a daily basis which decrease the intensity and frequency of attacks.